Hi guys, this is Chris Davies from CarProductsTested.com um, We review cars, I've obviously been reviewing motoring products for a long time including detailing valising products and today we're reviewing a couple of leather uh, treatments from ValetPro.eu um, Basically, all of this stuff you can see in front of you you can buy from valetpro.eu all the cloths, these um, applicator pads, this nice high quality brush, obviously the products as well. Um, what we're primarily reviewing though is the Valet Pro leather soap. Let's just make sure that's in. so you can have a quick read of that. So it says deep cleans leather by actively pulling grime out from the leather grain leaving a natural finish that reduces resoiling regular use will help preserve the leather as new effective cleans leaves leather feeling supple and soft produces a new look finish and barrier that prevents resoiling designed to preserve leather and it's got the instructions on the back as well so let's move this out of the way. Our videos are real life, so I like to think, show things in real time. Oh, I forgot to show you as well. I'm not doing a full review of this today, but I will be using it after. It's a Valley Pro leather protector, and um, you can see from here leaves a water repellent finish, leaves leather fresh to the touch, leaves it protected, and helps prevent dye transfer from jeans, etc. And it's got the instructions on the back again. Um, so, the car I'm actually testing this on is a 1999 Lexus GS300. I bought this car as a sort of project, as um, while the leather is grubby, it's actually a very nice interior, and I do like Lexus. So, basically, what we've got in front is the the leather is high quality, which is the reason it hasn't split. It's very good quality on Lexus. But as you can see, we've got all these ingrained dirt on the city all the way up. You can see in these gaps where the um, person's been getting in and out of, and it's just really grubby, including sort of around this area as well. And also onto the uh, Armrest. I think the guy who owned it was a mechanic or something like that, and he'd just obviously not used a leather cover, sorry, seat cover, and so he'd left it. It's left it grimy. I actually attempted to clean the steering wheel the other day with a couple of these sort of wipe cloths, like interior um, wipes for cars, the damp ones that you get in a pack, but, and it just came, <laughs> came all black, and it's, I'd used a few, and they were still coming up black, so I will test it on the steering wheel as well. So, to use the product, basically, um, what you do is, I'm going to open it and have a smell, I always have a smell of products. It just smells neutral, there's no smell there. What I'm going to do is just place the camera down here, sorry if it's a little bit, I'll just get it placed. According to Valley Pro, you apply some of the leather soap onto here. I watched a couple of, I watched Valley Pro's video on how to do this, make sure we get it right. And we apply the leather soap and we are meant to leave that to um, to soak in to which draws the dirt out so all I'm literally doing is applying this and it's slightly agitating it with this this sponge applicator but basically I'm not using the applicator to clean the area I'm using it to apply it and if I can get the correct angle on here sorry guys there we go um, I'll do the same for the 
bolster because that's particularly bad. Very grubby. I hate cars with grubby interiors. It's sort of grass. You can see I'm using quite a lot. I mean, the valet for all video did show um, the demonstrator using a, a lot of the product. And um, while it's fairly expensive, um, I'll tell you the price later, or well, within the review on carproductstester.com, this is basically what you've got to do, especially if it's a hev heavily soiled area like this sea is. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and um, also do this area down here because this is, again, generally this is a particularly bad section in the centre here and it's, it'll demonstrate the effectiveness of the product. And I just keep reapplying, just keep putting the product on, and like I say, I'm using a fair amount, well, that's fair enough. I want the seats nice and clean. What I'm going to do is actually, guys, I'll cut away from the video because, according to Valet Pro, what you do is you leave it for a few minutes basically to allow the dirt to be drawn upwards and out the surface. And um, it is quite heavily soiled, so what I want to do is leave it for around five, uh, three, three to five minutes, and we will. I'll come back to the video when it's when the whole seat's um, when it's been soaked into. Right, so I've, I've left the uh, leather soap to to sort of work its way in for about five minutes. All I'm going to do is because it's gone a little bit sort of dried out, what I'm going to do is just apply it really quickly just so that I can work something with the next, for the next stage um, so I'm really I want to be able to show you the the results half and half on the seat if possible I'm just applying a, a sort of thin layer up here and I'm especially applying it in here, but I've not applied any to this area, but I have done this bolster here uh, and across these two seats. So the next stage is to use the rather nice Valet Pro brush we've got here. Let's just focus in on that. Sorry, it's upside down. So it's a nice wooden handle, nice and solid, good quality. As you can see, the bristles look like they've been firmly attached in. Just pulling on them, there's no movement, and it's 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 quite soft, but at the same time, um, the bristles are sort of uh, firm enough to be able to to work the product in and make sure it actually cleans the seat, obviously without scuffing the leather. So let's just go ahead and sort of work the product in, and I'll demonstrate how Valley Pro had actually showed how to do this. So what I'm doing is working it in to all the sort of the cracks on the sea. They're not particularly cracks really, it's just sort of become more porous. I'm obviously going to work in the areas where you've, the dirt's particularly heavy. Not pressing really hard on the brush, I'm just kind of letting it sit on the surface with a slight pressure. And already I can see that the seat's actually coming up really well. Wow, well, it's bringing off the ingrained dirt really well. Where you've got areas like this and this here, 
it's best to work the brush this way rather than that way because then it works deeper into the any of the sort of cracked areas and obviously one thing that is coming up really nicely is this stitching it was basically it had gone black before and um, it, you can see it's the stitching originally is um, is actually a, basically the same colour as the leather, it's like a, a beige colour. So, continuing to work that in, I can see that there. Wow, fantastic results. So, what I'm going to do now is use one of the Valley Pro cloths to wipe this area down. So we can see sort of the results up until now and then I'll move on to a different area right guys so I've finished doing one half of the seat deliberately so I can show you what I actually accomplished and I'm very impressed as you can see this is sort of the old gross sidewall ingrained disgusting dirt and this is the ballet front done side really nice and um, all this here actually is not there. What's happened is the the paint's actually faded on the seat because of people getting in and out. The same with here, but as you can see, the great the actual dirt has come right out of all these. And actually, this uh, stitching has started to come up really nicely. It's no longer black. Like if I show you the other side, you can see it's quite dark. But um, the most impressive part, though, is if I back out, look at the difference. Oops, it's having difficulty focusing. There we go. Right, so um, look at the difference between the two. Unbelievable. Brilliant. It's taken a lot to clean that, actually. It was really, really ingrained. But as you can see, all the way down here, um, huge, huge difference. I'm really impressed with the Valley Pro, Valley Pro soap, leather soap. What's really good is this arm rest was pretty manky as well, and this has come up really nicely. As you can see, the stitching's become a lot lighter. Again, the paint's sort of faded here. That's not actually dirt. And, um, so I'm really impressed with the results. Another shot again. And um, there you go. Spectacular. So I'll get the leather soap in the shot. So you can just see the difference. The other thing I want to point out is as well, this feel the leather feels like it's brand new. It feels like you've just got into the car. It feels you know it's like got like a matte finish to it and it feels nice and supple and soft again. Whereas this side feels just sort of sticky and not exactly sticky, but a bit, little bit greasy, and it just feels a little bit sort of less supple. It feels a bit tighter the leather, whereas this side it's a lot it's a lot softer, and um, so in that manner it's made a massive difference as well. What I am going to do is I am going to use the leather protector on this once I've finished. And again, the photographs for that actually, because I'm not reviewing the leather protector on this occasion, what I'm going to do is. I'll add those images into the final review on carproductstested.com, the written review. And what I'll do is I'll, I'll um, tell you all about the finish. And, um, you know, it's obviously the, the actual feel of the product, etc. So, yeah, brilliant product. And we'll finish on a, a zoom out, I think, to again show you that. Thanks guys and check out carproductstested.com for cars and product reviews.